Welcome to another Back of the Net recording. This is to help you with inequalities, both in terms of describing numbers or integers you can have, representing those on the number line, but also a little bit, as we've got here, as solving an inequality. OK. Right, first of all, x is greater than minus 3. It's greater than, we say x is greater than, because this side of the sign, the crocodile's mouth, we like, is greater than this side. So it's greater than 3. We could have written it as minus 3, and that means exactly the same thing. We'd start with our variable, our letter x is greater than minus 3. Which way around the sign is doesn't actually matter, it's just how it relates to the two things it's between. So here, 3 is a small bit, x is the big bit. Here, again, x is a big bit, minus 3 is a small bit. OK, it's asking us to show this inequality on a number line. Well, the first thing I've got to worry about is the fact it's a minus 3. So at minus 3, I'm going to draw a circle. I know that I want x to be bigger than, x is greater than minus 3. So I want all these numbers up here. There we go. Now, it's not x greater than or equal to minus 3. It's actually, it's not that. It is x has got to be bigger than. Now, if this was a hole, I couldn't actually stand on a hole. So I can't be there. So that is my answer. In red, sorry, let's just write that on there, what it is. That is x is greater than minus 3. Below the line, I'm going to write down if <coughs> excuse me, x was greater than or equal to minus 3. Well, I'd start again with my minus 3. And I want it to be bigger, so my arrow would need to go that way. But this time, I can also be equal to the negative 3, so I would shade in that circle so I can stand there. It's like manhole covers. If you've got a manhole cover over your drain, you can stand on it, it's coloured in. If it's an empty hole, you can't, so you can't be there. That's that little bit there. I just want to do one more thing, and I'll make up my own question here. This is a demonstration question. If you had x, has got to be greater than minus 1, but less than or equal to 4, how would I plot that on my number line? Quite simply, I'd worry about minus 1, so draw a circle at minus 1. I'm also worried about 4, so draw a circle at 4. And I'm somewhere between those two, so I'll draw my line between those two. Now, looking at minus 1, I can't actually be at minus 1. I've got to be bigger than minus 1, so I can't stand on there, so it needs just to be an open, sorry, just needs to be an open hole. However, at 4, it can be equal to 4, so I can stand there. So I'd need just to shade that in. There we go. That's often two marks in an exam, just being able to do that. I hope that's clarified for you, writing or expressing numbers on a number line, is expressing inequalities on a number line. Right, now coming to solve inequalities. We've got 7y plus 36 is less than or equal to 8. I would advise you just to treat this as an equation. And I'm going to do so on the other side over here. So in my green pen, I'm going to write 7y plus 36 is equal to 8. And now I'm going to try and solve that equation. So I start with y. I times by 7. I add 36. And it leaves me with 8. So I'm doing that. 8 takes, sorry, that plus should have been in there, shouldn't it? Minus the 36. And then I'm going to have to divide by 7. We'll give me what y is. So let's run that through. 8 minus 36 is minus 20, minus 28. And then 28 divided by 7, 4, 7 is a 28, so it's 4, so it's minus 4. So I know y equals minus 4. So my answer here would have come as y equals minus 4. So over here on my inequality, I'll just rewrite it as y, put the minus 4 in. Let's look at what sign they were using here. It was that sign, and we just copy it in there. Question done. So for me, the question, solving an inequality, is exactly the same as solving an equation, and we just change the sign in and out of there as we work through it. 
should be fairly straightforward. Sometimes the question will be solve the inequality and represent on the number line, which is that bit there. We then have to draw this bit on our number line. OK, here's one for you to have a go at. I would also like you, if possible, and show on number line, just to make sure you're able to do that. OK, if you'd like to press pause now, we're going to try both A and B. Welcome back. Here we go. K is an integer such that K is greater than or equal to minus 1, and also K is less than 3. List all the possible values of K. Well, K is an integer. An integer means a whole number. So K can be equal or bigger than minus 1. So I can have minus 1. I can have 0. I can have 1. I can have 2. I'm going to think about 3. 3 I'm going to put there for the minute. 3, k has got to be less than 3. It can't actually be 3, so I don't want 3. That's my answer done. Show on a number line. Just draw yourself a line in the examinator drawings for you. That's my k number line. 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. I'm going to put a 3 on there as well. OK, so k. I'm looking at minus 1, and I'm looking at 3. It's between those two. Can I be at minus 1? Yes, it's equal to it. Shade it in. Can I be at 3? No, I can't. Leave it open. OK, that's that question done. Part 2. We've got 6y is greater than or equal to y plus 10. Rewrite it over here. I'll go back to the green pen. 6y equals y plus 10. I'm now going to solve that equation. So first of all, take a y from both sides, leaving with 5y equals 10. Then solving that, y would be equal to 2. So I've solved my equation. I'm now going to flip back over here and write down here y and 2 and copy that sign there down. It was that sign. Job done. Just the same as doing an equation. OK. Write down, sorry, you know what to do. I'll be quiet. Press pause, have a go yourself. Welcome back. Here come the answers. I'll go through this fairly quickly. First of all, it can be, it can be bigger than minus 4, but not equal to minus 4. So it's going to be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Can I have the 1? I can be equal to the 1, so yep. That's my list of numbers. Again, if you had a number line, we need to call it number line n, and we'd have minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. I can be okay, got minus 3. Sorry, I got that wrong. Let's undo the last bit. It was minus 4 in the question, so draw a circle at minus 4, and it was also 1 link between the two. Can I be at minus 4? No, I can't. So I leave that open. Can I be at 1? Yes, I can. Shade it in. There we go. Solve the inequality. Let's write the equality out. Rewrite it as my equation over here. Made a fake layer there. Should be equals. Solve my equation. I'm going to take an x from both sides. That leaves me with 2x minus 2 equals 7. I'm now going to use a flow diagram for that. x times 2 subtract 2 7 7 going to have to add 2 and then divide by 2. 7 add 2 is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So my answer is 4.5. So down here I'd write x equals 4.5. Going back over here, x 4.5. Copy down that sign. It was a sign like that. So x is greater than 4.5. And you can always put your 4.5 back in and check. OK, another one for you to do. I do think this is the last one. Let me just check and see. No, we've got one after this one as well. OK, press pause. Welcome back. Here come the answers. We've got k is greater than minus 3, so I can't have minus 3. Minus 2, 
minus 1, 0, 1. Can I have 2? It's got to be less than or equal to. So, yep, I can have it. And again, on your number line, you'd have your line minus 3 and 2. You're getting used to this now. I won't draw the rest of the numbers in, the two circles, the line between them. I can't be at that one, but I can be at that one. So shade it in, and we just call that the line K. There we go. Solve the inequality. 2x divided by 3 is greater, sorry, is less than 10. Let's rewrite that as our equation. 2x divided by 3 equals 10. So I've got x times 2 divided by 3 and 10. Reversing that, or inversing that, 10 times 3 divided by 2. 10 times 3 is 30, divided by 2 is 15. So x equals 15 over here. And on this side here, x and the 15, pulling that sign over. There we go, x is less than 50. Okay, and hopefully this is the last one. It is. Um, I'll let you press pause. Welcome back. Here we go. Write down the possible values of n. Well, I can be at minus 2 because it's equal to it. Then I'm going to have minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can't have 5 because it's got to be less than 5. And again, if that was a number line, actually I could make that my number line, couldn't I? Let's put n in the middle there, minus 2. We can be there, so fill it in all the way up to 5. where well, we can't be, so we don't fill it in. Solving the inequality, 4x plus 1 is less than 11. Let's rewrite that as an equation over here. 4x plus 1 equals 11. So x times 4 add 1 is 11. 11, reversing it, inversing it, take 1, then divide by the 4. 11 take 1 is 10, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 or 2.5. So I know that x equals 2.5. So over this side, I'm going to have x, 2.5, and comes the sign. There we go. Hope that uh, video has been useful to you. Um, be particularly careful about how you shade these bits in and just write this out neatly. It should be fairly easy marks at what's thought to be quite a high level. Um, good luck with that if you're doing it in the exam and do come and watch another back of the video.